Okay. Uh, we're making a math video here to respond to uh, Thomas the Daxter, his comments, and we're just making a video in the heat of the moment. Speaking of Thomas. Heat of the moment. Oh, Thomas is talking to us on Skype. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thomas is okay. saying yeah. that he wants ex the, the little math notes that Ian's got in his so apartment. This is the one that makes the most sense, I think. I tried to simplify it, and I think it might be better if it comes out as x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals x plus 1 squared. Basically what that means is like 5 squared plus uh, 11 is equal to 6 squared. And 20 squared plus 41 is equal to 21 squared. So it's it's an easy way to figure out the neighboring square if you ever need to for numbers. So and do you have a sample an example of a practical application for this? Um it could make math easier for you. Like if you want to figure out the square of a number, you could figure out the square of a number close to it and then so you don't have to like you don't have to do the multiplication every time. You can just do a simple additive to figure out what's next. Would there be an application in cooking for this, for example? This equation? Yeah. Um, well, know. it's it's a spur of the moment thought, and um, I got nothing because it, when it comes to math, my brain freezes. I mean, you, you could actually say that these things like uh, x squared plus three x equals. Uh, open bracket x plus one close bracket uh, squared plus x plus one inside of brackets of course and it's like unless I'm actually looking at it it doesn't make sense that's why I'm asking you if you could use this for cooking because when you actually have uh, a formula you have to actually see it uh, you, have, you can turn that into ingredients to prevent the tomatoes on the bottom from getting screwed and what does that mean? I'm not really sure but I, we hope that this answers Thomas' question. So there you have it. Uh, and then we're working, me and Sarah were over at uh, Fred62 is working on math the night of the night that it turned into my birthday, April 1st into April 2nd. And uh, I, we were doing, she's got it all written down in her journal. It was like figuring out squares, like there's relationships in, in like three cubed plus three squared plus three. The result of that, uh, and then four cubed plus four squared plus four, five cubed plus five squared plus five. There's like a relationship in the amount of difference between those. But it's I mean it's it's incredibly confusing to try to talk about it without it having it in front of me. Uh, does math usually make more sense to you when you had weed or when you're sober? Mm, it, both. It, it, it like they, they make different kinds of sense. When do you tend to obsess more over it? When you had weed or when you're sober? I think I I did this when I was stoned. Oh. I think. I started thinking about it. But I think I, I started thinking about it. I don't remember. It's just all the same shit, dude. THC stays in the system for so long, but when after initial THC burst. Chemistry. Yeah, man. The chemistry leads to Ian thinking about math. It doesn't matter because we know the answer. Ian wins science. Congratulations, Ian. You won science. Thank you, Christian. We won. Yeah! Together we did it. I am the tiger. Woo! Woo! Ow! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no, we did it. No. Woo! Yeah! Yes! I am the tiger. Woohoo!